One day after an auto accident in northeastern Ohio killed six teenagers, their community mourns, trying to make sense of the tragedy. We can only watch our kids for so long. And at a certain time, you know, you just have to trust God that he's going to keep their hands around them and he's going to protect them. The SUV they were riding in hit a guardrail and then crashed into a pond. Sad to see, you know, six, you know, not even adults, you know, killed like that. The crash is still under investigation. The owner of the SUV has filed a stolen vehicle report. Police say it was traveling too fast when it went out of control. Brian Henry was one of two survivors. We hit the rail and I got knocked off conscious. It was upside down. Mm -hmm. I hit my head on the dashboard and I flew to the back, the back seat where everybody was at. And the, car, the water was so cold, it woke me back up. This is our calling. Amen. Monday, the city's mayor led a prayer session to help residents cope with their grief. We just have to find a way to be able to reach our children so that we can continue to go on and continue to build life in our neighborhoods opposed to seeing this death and destruction. Residents also released balloons into the air in a show of unity. Police say they're not sure how many of the teens knew the SUV was stolen, and they say none of them was wearing a seatbelt. Carlotta Bradley, The Associated Press.